What's up everyone, this is Impact Easy, and welcome to Total Conflict Resistance. We are about to start another campaign. We're going to be playing as the same campaign that we played uh, in the live stream, except we're gonna be playing it a little bit differently. The one thing that we need to do in the beginning is start building flotilla ships, and the other resource that we need is, a, a definite resource we need is aluminum. So we need steel and aluminum. If we don't start with those, it's going to be very difficult to get off the island. And the one thing I've noticed with these, all these factions down here start on an island. I think most of them, <laughs> most of them. I don't think these guys do. I think they actually start on the far east side of the map, if I'm not mistaken. But all these guys start on an island and it is extremely difficult to, first of all, build your flotilla ships because they take so long. And second of all, build enough of them to get a reasonable attacking force to go onto the mainland to actually be a presence and fight the enemy on their own soil. So it does take a long time, especially when, I mean, some of these island nations only have one resource to start off with besides their usually a wheat field. You'll have a wheat field and another uh, building resource, either aluminum or, or even fuel. So if you don't start off with aluminum or um, aluminum or iron or uh you have a real difficult time and you have to focus more on the diplomacy side of things and i just find that drags out the game too long i mean i don't want to sit here for two years doing diplomacy when i could just be on a island with the right resources and just go attack I I'm, I'm not really into that slow game so who we're going to pick is the same people we played with on the live stream but we're going to start off with different resources because in the live stream we started off with gold and uh, oil, I think it was. And we were having a really difficult time with aluminum. And we also didn't start building flotilla ships until later on. So my, my estimation, my estimation is you need one flotilla troop per, uh, I guess vehicle troop. And I'm not going invading the mainland with infantry. We're going in there invading them with vehicles, uh, even early vehicles. So we need to build up at least a 10 stack of vehicles to go attack. I mean, I guess you could kind of ferry them over and go back and ferry them over. You could try that. That's one way to do it. I just, yeah, we'll have to figure that out when the time comes. But we're going to play these guys again because they start out beside another another faction. And they give you the best opportunity to grow. We're going to play on medium here. We'll do low rebels. Play on realistic. No alliances. We're going to start early. And I'm going to re-roll this. I'm going to re-roll the map until we have a starting area with aluminum and at least another building resource. I don't care what it is, as long as we have aluminum in the start. Because I, I think that's a must, because it takes 15 aluminum to build one flotilla ship. You need, it costs other resources, but you need 15 uh, aluminum at least to build one flotilla. So let's start this up. All right, so we've loaded in. It took a few loads and because I kept getting oil and gold. I don't know why it kept on giving me those two resources, but this is good. We have aluminum ore and we have iron ore to start off with. I don't know what these guys have to offer. Hopefully, I don't know what we would really need. Copper, we're going to need oil, among other things. I mean, we're never going to have everything we need on this island, which means we're going to have to at least... See, the good thing why we need aluminum is to get to areas that have those resources and there is an island down here we'll see what they have i'm not sure if i can see that right away we couldn't let's get our flotilla out and we're speaking of flotilla we're going to start building these right away because they're look at how much time it takes to build one so we need to get these things going so we're not sitting on this island for you know two years waiting for enough flotillas to take an army across water i'm gonna build that this and that's it for now i'm gonna hold off on the med kits because they cost uh one aluminum I want all my aluminum aluminum going to those flotillas and we'll build our air force i thought we had four planes i guess we don't could be wrong on that okay I'm going to start bringing these guys down because I want to see if I can find out what resource these guys have. It should tell us if we uncover the area. But we need to take care of these rebels, so we'll get everybody 
let's get everybody to the capital. To bring these guys around, otherwise they'll actually attack just walking by them. Okay, research, we're going to be going with... Uh, we're going to be going with down this line first. In the live stream, we didn't make it as far to unlock these, but these actually, I thought they were locked because it's still early access, but these do unlock. Uh, on my own time, I was playing, and I actually unlocked, this is like a bomber, or is this the bomb? I don't know. More stuff is available to you. So I, I think you can actually get these warships, which would, be, which would be pretty cool. And you get helicopters and other bombers and jet fighters and stuff, which is awesome. Other thing, too, we're going to be focusing on food right away. I do not want my people going hungry. And we are I know we need to get these going as soon as possible. Uh, we're probably going to get the aluminum uh, processing plant up next. And then we're going to build another... Do we have... We're going to have to build another field. Because this isn't going to be... One bakery and field is not going to be enough for this province. So we're going to have to... We could build a, a farm and maybe some cattle. We'll see what takes more time once we finish that off. On our research, we're going to be doing diplomacy. Uh, we're going to be doing justify war goal on these guys right away. And let's see what these guys have for sale. How much money do we have? We have 40,000. Because we're going to be short on oil, so oil is something we might want to buy. It's pretty pricey, as, you know, oil is. This is something I'm going to take as well. Copper might not be bad. It's pretty expensive. So we need to figure out what we want to buy before we go to war, because everybody's going to hate us when we go to war. And we're not going to have these options. So I might actually take that while we can get it. Same with this copper ore. Do we need that? We are low on copper. I am going to buy that. It's pretty... For, surprised how expensive that is. I'm not going to buy that gold. The bread? No. We're going to hold off. Because we do need that money for buildings. Yeah, and we're going to send everything to our capital. Actually, we're going to send it up to Naden. Because that's where... That's going to be our operation point for the war coming. And we do have shared, I do have resource management on easy just so that our food is distributed throughout the province because like I said in the live stream, I don't like micromanaging food. I find it very tedious. So our, f our food is going to be distributed automatically in, in this province. So that's why we can move all of our resources up here. Because it doesn't matter where everything is. Okay, let's continue moving these guys together. I want to get all my vehicles in one unit. And the rest can... have a break. Okay, you guys... Can be disbanded. Let's get you coming in. Yeah, I do want that. I do want this AA truck. Those things are really good against vehicles. Do start off with a decent amount of units. You can be disbanded. So can you. I need your truck. Thank you, sir. 
My resources have just shit the bed. I don't know what that's about. Okay. Oh, it's because they're in transit. That's why. All right, so that's everything. Let's bring that over here. Good. And now we have all of our vehicles in one unit. And what I'm going to do is put the vehicles that we're not producing ammunition for at the top so I can use them up first. I want to save my aircraft, these AA guns, for later on. When we're actually fighting uh, units with decent vehicles in them. Now, all these guys, I want to go at the top and use them first. I'd have to see if I can make ammunition for them. I'm not sure. We'll get all of our AA at the bottom, just so we have an idea on where they are. That's it. These guys... 76254... Yeah, we're not making ammunition for them. I'm not sure which ones. I think it's... I think it's these guys. I, I can't remember exactly, but some of these vehicles are... I, they're pretty bad anyway, so we'll put them at the top just so we get rid of them. Use up their ammunition on these weak rebels. And we're going to come up here quickly. These rebels should be fine. They're not going to go anywhere, hopefully. Because I'm going to rearm these units. Now that we have everything over here. Something's moving. Okay. Okay. Let's rearm, because some of these guys, I mean, they're using, you know, rifles pretty bad. Let's rearm them. Nothing really changed. I right, was using a lot of automatic weapons. I don't mind rifles. I don't mind bolt-action rifles. They can be quite good. All right. These things are trash, but I mean, they're better than, better than, uh, I mean, I don't want a whole army full of bolt action rifles. We'll sit here until daytime. Let's head in. That should be a pretty easy fight. All right. Yeah, this vehicle is trash. It's okay if we use, use this up quickly. Now, where are they going to be coming in from? Possibly through here. Yes, sir. I'm going to bring up a scout vehicle Affirmative. Affirmative. to see where they are. It's kind of a closed in map. Not much room. I'm not hearing any vehicles over there. Okay, they're there. So let's get up on this hill. Try and find somewhere decent here. It's really not any good ground. Sir, yes, sir. Roger that. Roger. Yes, sir. Guess you could come over here just to cover this line. Yes, sir. I need you access to the actual turret. Now, the reason why I don't like this vehicle is it has major recoil. Yeah, 
now. All three of them. Okay. Yep. What are you hitting? You're like... Let's get the guys off of the truck. We'll take control of one of them and push up a little bit. Now we're using the classic AK variant with m missing parts. I think it's the worst automatic weapon in the game. Gonna be around here somewhere. Probably just around this area. Oh my god, he doesn't want to... My bullets don't want to hit him. He's taking fire. There's a ton of them over there. Don't know how much longer we're going to survive. In this position. Yeah, they... They are gunning for me now. much I can do here. I can try and fall back. Okay, let's go to this rock. Oh. How many are left? 32. Press the hill over here. Oh, this gun is so bad. Oh, they're over here. No, you're not going to kill me. Oh, jeez, he threw a grenade. Oh, it's just smoke. They're still there. We go. It's like they have to. They have to surrender soon. All right, so they're dealt with. Now we're just gonna hang out. And let's get another rung. Whoops. Let's get another rung of ammunition. Because we're gonna need it. Yeah. So these things are costing what? 5 iron, 12 aluminum, and 10 wood. So that is that's pretty significant. That's why we need to start off with aluminum with this run. We have... How much wood do we have? 88. Could buy wood. It's pretty cheap. Got 30 days on the bakery. Let's take our boat. I 
Oh, did I send them up here? No? Where is my navy? Or is it still making its... Did I move them and they're still making their way up? Oh, they're right here. Let's see if we can find out where... What they have. So they have oil. That's good. What else? We could use gold, but it's... I'd much rather have oil than gold. Alright, so they have what we need. So they are our next prime target. Yeah, we didn't rearm these guys. We're not making ammunition for them. I don't... We might have some in our reserve. Justify war goal is still 20 days away. And I want... So where are we making... Carmas. So let's do repeat weekly. Uh, see, it's going to be a thousand. I want to send more than that. So we have to wait till we make more. Because we're not really making a lot at the moment. But our production efficiency isn't at 100% yet. I mean, I doubt it. It's only at 30. 35, 39. Alright, so we got our justify war goal. We're going to actually declare war on these guys. Which will take, what, 8 days? 9 days? Um, so I... We have finished off our bakery. I got another wheat field coming in. And I, I'm looking at the production. It says it produces 100 bread... And our wheat fields produce 24. So, I don't know what... Would the bakery... I think we need another... It's not that we need another wheat field. It's the fact that we need another bakery. Now that I'm thinking about that. I don't know if you... So, it consumes 5 wheat... Which wheat do we have? 162. We've got tons of bread. It's almost like we need... Is it a one-to-one -one ratio? Or two wheat fields per one bakery? Or two bakeries per one? Uh, I'd have to see what these guys are producing when they're both at 100%. But for now, I'm going to do one and one. Just because that seems to work out for me. Nice, the tiger is ready. We are going to do what next? Not going to worry about weapons until we get to 2025. Could start working on RPGs or even our uniforms. We need to get this ammunition for 2025. But I think RPGs are more... More of a... Priority right now. So we're at 29,000. They have stone. We're buying that. That is something that we're going to need later. We'll buy these. Because we're not producing them. That's why I want to buy them. We'll buy that. That's reasonably cheap. It's going to knock our budget down a little bit. Yeah, we're going to need that stone to build buildings uh, and I'd rather not build stone quarries before I start building my manufacturing alright so we're at war let's improve relations with these guys just so we're friendly with somebody and we'll do one last supply run and head out make sure we're not attacking at night
Right, so they have two fighting vehicles, and that's it. All right, let's get let's get these guys into position. It depends on where they are spawning in from. So it's over here or on this side. So they're coming in from that side. That's fine. Okay, let's get vehicles over here then. Yes, Commander. Roger. 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 Roger that. Sir, yes, sir. Get five on that side. Let's get the other five over here. Yes, sir. Roger. Roger that. Affirmative. Roger that. And we'll figure out where else they can go once these guys get into position. Because that's a pretty good angle. We'll kind of have a bit of a crossfire happening. It's going to take a second to get over here. I'm going to put him right in here. And we will slam on the brakes, power slide, and attack. Try to kill the infantry over the truck first. It's almost like right here is where the crosshair should be. Oh, smokes. Fire into the crowd on that one. Okay, everyone's in a good position. You guys could probably move where. Why don't you come over here a little bit? There we go. There, now he's opening up. Then we'll unload the infantry. That's a good spot for you. I don't... That's... That's fine. Yeah, their vehicle must be in play. What is it? All right, if we can uh, can take out their turret, that would be good. Let's use something that actually fires with accuracy. All right, I think their turret gunner's gone. We'll get our infantry to fire. Actually, let's let's do an airstrike. It already blew up. That's fine. How are you guys doing? Yeah, they're getting shots off, I think. Yeah. Need to back up a little bit, sir. Put you over here a little bit. If I can knock these trees down, I don't. I doubt these big ones. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to knock any any of these big trees down, which are in the way. Where are these guys? Oh, another vehicle up and out.
Oh, let's not walk in front of my friendly vehicle. Do I want to use this on the vehicle? I'd rather use it on these infantry. Our vehicle should be able to deal with this vehicle. What? Come on. How'd you guys survive that? That's crazy. Alright, it's finished. You are almost out of ammunition. That means that you can be blown up. Because I hate you. I hate this vehicle. So we're going to rush in. God. Everybody's hiding in this pile. That's fine. They'll save us having to fuel it. Oh, I just saw him lying in the grass. Lying in the grass with a shotgun. Which ammunition do you have left? Oh, plenty. Have a good time. And look at them all over here. have anyone covering this side. I mean, look at them all. Just fall back, fight another day. This thing sucks. I mean, look at all the infantry over here still. That'll do it. <laughs> I thought we were going to get blown up, but I don't really care if that we lose that vehicle. It's not a big deal. Alright, so this still doesn't go away. This happened on the live stream as well. I don't know how to get rid of these vehicles. Or that... This, this um... Jet fighter. Even when I... Uh, conquered this whole faction. It still didn't go away. Now we're just going to resupply. Yeah, we don't have ammunition for these vehicles. So it's okay if they get destroyed in the next battle. Because all they're going to be doing is soaking up fuel that I don't want them... 
using? What do we have next up? Yeah, we got our good vehicles coming in next. We do have to be cautious, though, because we obviously don't want to lose too many vehicles. Let's get some Tigers going. And we'll make sure that this ammunition is being sent over to Naden. They're probably still not at 100%, so we, I don't really want to do a weekly run of it. So this is costing 5 more aluminum and 15 iron. So we'll get a few of those out. Trading. Things are... Look at our... Our options are limited. I'm going to buy those. It's quick, easy bread for pretty cheap money. Yeah, let's attack. We might be able to make... See, I'd, I'd have to look at these guys again. We might be able to actually make, have the ability to make ammunition, but I like to streamline my armies so I'm not making three different kinds of ammunition for three different kinds of vehicles. That's why I want to make those Tigers, because that's the ammunition that I want to make. I just want to make one vehicle and one type of ammunition for now. Obviously, when we get into tanks and heavier vehicles, we'll need to do more. But for now, with our limited resources, we need to kind of streamline our army. And besides, those vehicles, I don't even want to make ammunition for them because I... They're just so bad. Alright, let's see where they're coming in from. Alright, looks like they're coming in from over there. Let's get into position. Actually, this is a decent spot on this side. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Roger that. Yes, sir. Let's get seven on that side and we'll get three over here. Hopefully we can get there quickly. Nice flat ground. There's their one fighting vehicle. We'll get rid of that. We do have some travel time. We only have 200 rounds left in this thing. See him? Oh, power slide. I don't have much ammunition for this thing. Oh, we're starting to take RPG rounds. Here, get moving. Let's see if we can lock down where that vehicle went. All right, he's right there. Don't know if we're going to have enough ammunition for this thing. Beautiful. Right, let's fall back. Let's get him over here. And we need to spread out a little bit here. Yeah, this is too close. What are you doing? Are you stuck? No, you're trying to reverse. Just go forward. Not much ammunition left for this thing, so we'll just plop him here. I can move 
you up a little bit. Get you onto the high ground. Oh man, this is... This is looking good. Minus 64 ammunition. Yeah, he's not firing. I think he's finished. He's still firing. Okay. What are you reloading? You don't have any... You don't have any other ammunition. I'm not sure what he's... Alright, well, I'm not gonna... So he's fenting. So you actually don't have ammunition. But you're firing. Must be their second... Secondary ammunition? I'm not sure. I'm not gonna question it. Just gonna go with it. So I got a Humvee and another spawn wave. I think I want to move up. We're doing fine where we are. There's no reason. There's no reason to move up. It's a really good spot there. So I'm not sure what he's firing. He's reloading. Oh, we do have vehicles over here. I thought we brought them all over on the one side. Good. This Humvee doesn't want to move up. He's hitting our units on this side. Which I think we're kind of going one-on-one -on -one here. I think he's right here. Yep. Let's move up. Just a little bit so I can get a better shot on this Humvee. Perfect. I don't want the Humvee because we're not making ammunition for it. Making a final push. It's not going to do much. Beautiful. We lost 
12. Two injured. That's not bad. I think that kill to death ratio was acceptable. Alright, so that's two cities down. What are we getting from here? More iron. We'll take it. I mean, the copper would have been better, but that's okay. We'll get the copper somewhere else. Maybe they'll have some deeper into the territory. I'm not sure what... I don't, I don't know if they come with two or not. They're definitely going to have wheat, but I don't know if they're going to have anything else. Any other ore. But uh, we're going to end the episode here. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to everyone later. Have a good day. Bye for now.